before the dust from the Second World War had even settled, the two new global superpowers, USA and USSR were anxiously developing contingency plans in the event of an invasion by the other. In 1949 Department of Defense was planning for an attack involving both conventional forces and nuclear weapons, which had been deployed in the war with Japan just four years previously. However, since nuclear weapons were so new, generals weren't sure how heavily they could rely on America's atomic arsenal to defeat the USSR which was predicted to invade Western Europe in 1957. Instead, U.S. forces planned to wage war with a terrifying array of conventional bombs, which would be dropped on key USSR targets. At the time the U.S. nuclear arsenal was limited in size, based mostly in the United States, and depended on bombers for delivery. Along with 300 nuclear weapons, 29,000 high-explosive bombs were to be dropped on 200 targets across 100 Soviet towns. The conventional bomb sites were reportedly chosen to wipe out almost 85% of the Soviet Union's industrial capability in one stroke. With Soviet industry crippled, the planners behind Operation Dropshot hoped they could beat off a full-scale Russian onslaught without needing to wage a bloody ground war. Meanwhile, a further 100 nuclear weapons would be targeted to destroy USSR bombers before they could even take off in order to prevent a devastating counterattack. The plans were shelved once military scientists developed cheaper intercontinental ballistic missiles, at which point American strategy shifted to place a greater focus on nuclear weaponry. The scenario was devised prior to the development of intercontinental ballistic missiles, and even included the note that the entire plan would be invalidated if rocketry became a cheap and effective means of delivering a nuclear weapon. These documents were later declassified and published as Drop Shot, the American plan for World War III against Russia in 1957.